Hey everyone, have I here? Bring another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be discussing what are your chances on pulling the new Dokkan Festival exclusive LR Cooler and the Carnival Festival exclusive Super Saiyan Goku. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. And generally, I would do these videos prior to the banners being dropped. Of course, we didn't have that information prior to, but since I had it already set up, I still might as well make this video. And just to see how lucky you guys all got based off of the probability ability chances that you see here in the, what are your chances on pulling either of these units i have felt both the luck and the total despair on both sides so uh, i know how you feel on both ends so let's go ahead and look at these banners here initially uh, these are uh, a dokkan festival exclusive cooler banner and then the legendary summon carnival banner for super saiyan goku 10 feature units on both Four featured LRs on the Cooler Banner, seven featured LRs on the Goku Banner. Let's go ahead and look at the Goku Banner first. Uh, being that it is a brand new banner, it's a Legendary Summon Carnival. It is not double rates, unfortunately. I think a lot of people expected that. That's why there's a little bit of controversy behind uh, this banner here. It is introducing a new coin as well, a green coin. So this Super Saiyan Goku is exclusive to this green coin, while everything else that's the LRs on this banner is generally you can pick them up as yellow coins. So, of course, this being a 10 featured unit banner, it is a 5% chance per multi for you to pick up this Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, for some reason, the, the probability chance calculation is actually 4.89. If you round it up, it's 5% um, to go ahead and pull this unit here. It makes a lot of sense, of course, 5% chance is the chance you have per single to go ahead and try to pull this. So when you start thinking about, okay, what's a better opportunity? Well, it is a buy three, get one free at this point in time on these banners. So it's still better off for you to pull multis. However, once the buy three, get one free is over, if you still are trying to pull this Goku, you actually have the same amount of chance if you're actually doing singles than you are doing uh, multis. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, when you're looking at the entirety of the banner, if you're trying to pull any of the seven LRs, including Goku, you actually pretty much have a 30% chance per multi to actually pick up this uh, uh, any of the LRs on the banner here. And the featured units on the banner uh, are different on JP and Global, so just make sure that you know that uh, when it comes to the Global side, uh, it doesn't have Kaioken Goku, unfortunately, uh, which JP does on the featured end, but everything else generally is the same. So when you actually look at that, uh, those are the top on there. I should actually put it on the other side. You can see Kaioken Goku replaces the Trunks and uh, future Gohan as the featured unit on JP versus Global. Again, you have a 30% chance to pull uh, any of the seven featured LRs on the 10 featured units. So, so um, pretty good, pretty good chance of at least pulling LR. I've actually absolutely have felt that in my summons if you guys haven't seen my main account summons on this banner here yeah i've been i pulled a lot of the quote-unquote other featured lrs on here so again this is a legendary summon banner even though it's a legendary summon carnival um the carnival i guess meaning that's going to just be more featured lrs on here the yellow coin lrs the non dokkan festival exclusive units are on this banner as well and on the global side you do have two less than the jp side uh the jp having the lr merge zamasu and the lr golden frieza has a lot more value because those two units are like incredibly incredibly good uh, along with Kyle Ken Goku as features so I think the JP side has a slight or actually kind of a major advantage really those two units are so OP comparable to the other units they actually have uh, on here um, it's a shame that Kyle Ken Goku is a non feature versus a featured they could have easily just made the Kyle Ken Goku is featured on the global side of the game since it's it's actually still in the banner. It's just as a non-featured. So I'm not sure why they ended up doing that. Now you do have a 17.8 to a 7 to 18.7 percent chance per multi to pull one of the non dokkan Festival or the non-featured LRs on here, and uh, that's an okay chance, right? You actually have a better chance of pulling a featured LR with a 30 percent chance than you are pulling a non-featured due to the fact that there's 277 other units that you are vying for, even though you do have a 95 percent chance of pulling a um a non-featured lr or i'm sorry non-featured unit on the last spot on the 10th summon so 
And so just definitely keep that in mind uh, when you are summoning on this banner here. It is a luxury banner, just like I always say here, being that it's a luxury banner, you have that 5% chance of pulling this major unit here, you have a 30% chance here, and then you have uh, your 17 to 18, almost 19% chance, depending on the um, uh, the game, the which side of the game you're playing on, Global or JP. So uh, let's now talk about the cooler banner. The cooler banner is a... Uh, 10 featured as well it does have four LRs on here and those are the featured units you can see uh, there I'm not sure why you know Buhan is on a team because um, he's on what is he on terrifying conquerors but he's on I know he's on transformation boost I don't know if he's on terrifying conquerors anyway not too sure why Buhan's on, on, on as the other LR so uh, it's nice to have the evolution in um, Evolution Vegeta on there because that's going to go well with the Goku if you don't have him for power, you know, a powerful comeback. And then uh, Namek Goku as, I guess, the alternative Super Saiyan Goku that you can pick up. So the banner in itself is not bad, especially if we're going to easy A the uh, strength the strength cooler, right? The strength uh, Dokkan Festival exclusive um, TUR cooler. That one is... If it easy is going to be worthwhile to definitely having the Namek uh, STR transformation Goku is also on here and that's going to receive an easy as well. You know what they should have done is actually put, uh, oh actually full power Frieza is on this banner here. The strength full full power Frieza is on. Oops, is on. Eh, where is it? Is on this banner. All right, so I kind of get how they're doing this. Anyway, um, here's the chances of this banner here. Again, same 5% chance, 4.89%, and then round up to 5% chance. Uh, 10 featured, 4 LRs on here, so you have another 5% chance of pulling this unit, uh, the cooler on this banner here. Now, again, buy 3, get 1 free is currently on. Once that's dropped off, if you want to try to force some dupes and don't want to go blow all your dragon stones uh, in multis, you can easily just go ahead and um, single summon and you'll have basically the same chance all right so but after the buy three get one free because that's absolutely worth the uh, uh the multi summon so and when you're talking about any of the four other or actually total if a cooler included the four legendary featured units on here you actually have an 18.29 percent chance so around around 18 um percent chance of pulling any of the featured lrs and that's pretty good, especially if you don't have some of these units on here. Namek Goku still, uh, you know, amazing. Evolution Vegeta, you know, he's, he's it's there. He's, he's still usable. But, uh, and then again, I'm not too sure. Buhan. Buhan is okay, but uh, uh, we'll see how he continues to age. Um, now, also on top of that, if you are looking for any of the Dokkan Festival exclusive units, uh, minus the Piccolo, of course, being that he's not Dokkan Festival exclusive, you have a 36.9% chance per multi to go ahead and pick up that. So that's a very, very nice percentage chance. It's uh, even much better than pulling any of the LRs on the uh, Carnival banner, but uh, I think some of these units are, are more useful than some of those uh, Carnival LRs minus the Goku, right? So 36.9% chance, pretty much a 37% chance to pull that unit there. Now, if you're looking for any of the featured units, you're at 40% uh, of, of doing that. So anytime when you're summoning on this Dokkan Festival exclusive banner here and you're going like three or four multis, like if you do a full rotation without a featured a unit, that just means that uh, you got extremely lucky. You're, you're flipping heads and tails. And uh, and yes, you know, you have, uh, the house has 60% chance, a little bit more favor for you not picking up a a, a featured unit but 40 percent chance is very very high when it comes to per multi chance on there so again if you did a full rotation did not get a featured unit you, you just got really lucky you you got tails versus heads um you know more so so uh so just definitely keep that in mind i think both of these banners uh are interesting for the um the initial start of this new change uh that we are going to get both another dokkan festival exclusive and another uh, legendary uh, carnival banner in part two of the celebration. So definitely save your stones. We have no clue how good this next group of units are going to be. And I hope they don't, you know, in, in reality, I am still more preferable to having the Dokkan Festival, the, the dual Dokkan Festival exclusive, and if they just did one legendary summon carnival banner, it, it'd be fine. But having two of these um, kind of feels like a money grab. And uh, again, I, I do warn people, it is a luxury banner. 
uh, don't try to think that you're going to pull these units very easily. If you did, congratulations, though. You, you, you beat the odds. You got the luck on there. Again, I did really well on one of the banners and not really well on another banner. But I'll be summoning some more, doing some giveaways. I just uh, recently I just haven't been posted the giveaways on there. So you'll stay tuned for that. But hopefully this video does help you and understand uh, your chances on here. And if you are getting shafted, I understand. But if you also got lucky, congratulations. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on dokoning. We'll catch you next time. Later.